A three-day trade fair, National Innovative Integrate and Expand Trade Fair 2022 is underway at Agri-Expo Chumugedima. The event is being organized by Business Association of Nagas, supported and sponsored by the Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, along with the Nagaland government. The fair, which commenced yesterday, November 3, will conclude tomorrow. Companies like banking, finance and automobile, export and business promoting agencies, state departments and organizations promoting SMEs and local entrepreneurs are participating. On the second day, resource persons spoke about the various opportunities that are available in farming and tourism sector for the youths of Nagaland. Speaking to Hornbill TV, executive member of BAN and trade fair convener Pendung Okitan said, conducting such trade fair is to provide platform to producers and business owners and also connect business owners to the market. I think agribusiness because uh, agriculture is the mainstay of our people, Nagaland, albeit uh, comes under quotes that uh, we have surplus uh, to generate disposable income while being involved in uh, this. Incidentally, I think today, just a few minutes back, we concluded uh, a meeting on the, uh, organized by the uh, Government of India in association with CII, Confederation of Indian Industry. Again, we are also working very actively on uh, formulating our state logistics policy. So this is also just for your information and just uh, 10 minutes back, this got concluded and it was a hybrid kind of a meeting, so I also had the good fortune of attending. So without much uh, spending much time in uh, um, discussing, uh, giving an introduction to all this, I... Just give it to them, they, they are covered under the priority sector lending. Then, um, I would like to mention that for my ministry, the guiding principles in the past few months have been three words. One is three, uh, yeah, three terms actually. One is Udyami Bharat. Udyami Bharat as in Enterprise India. The second is Self-Reliant India as in Atmanirbhar Bharat. And the third is Stakeholders. Stakeholder consultations are extremely important for us and policy formulation is as dynamic as possible if stakeholders like all the ones who are present here can continue to give inputs to us. I waited, wait, um, uh, given skill trainings and curated that whenever to host a guest, they know exactly what they are selling or what they are presenting to their guest. It's not just giving them accommodation. It's not just about just giving them a tour of the uh, culture, of uh, our rich heritage and culture, but also the homeowner, knowing the rich culture of our food, the herbs, not just presenting the food to the guest, but what, when they present each food to the guest on the table, they know what they are presenting to the guest, and each food having a history to tell to the guests that will make it more interesting. And also we are trying to register home mothers and sisters that are at home that will want to supplement their income. Today we have multiple components in the trade fair and one of the most important component is the business summit. So today was the first uh, session. We started the business uh, summit today and in the morning uh, session we had uh, discussed on local employment opportunities for youth in which we had a uh, distinguished uh, panelist from uh, business houses in Nagaland and also uh, Nagaland State Rural Livelihood Mission and uh, we also had a professor from uh, National Institute of Technology so all in all the Business summit was a very fruitful one. We, due to time constraint, we could not deliberate much and longer. But uh, whatever was uh, spoken, we were able to. Uh, most of us benefited, uh, you know, from the panelist. Sir, uh, um, what is the main objective or the main motive behind this uh, NIA trade fair? 
So NIIE Trade Fair is a. This is sponsored by Ministry of uh, MSME. The objective behind uh, conducting such a trade fair is first of all to build and to bring the producers, business owners, to give them a platform and also at the same time we are trying to connect the business owner to the market. So today we have more than 130 exhibitors and uh, we also have various exhibitors from uh, four northeastern states. So bringing them together in one platform that itself you know, will give us the uh, much needed synchronization and also at the same time much needed uh, collaboration between you know, the states, between the states in the region. So there was a session for the uh, youths also uh, and the unemployment about the unemployment of the youths. So um, do you think uh, this even can change the perspective of those people? So what was discussed in today's summit in regard to local employment opportunities is that uh, we have had employers speaking on the topic and uh, the employers are willing to engage as many as Naga youth uh, in, in their workplace. However, you know, some of them had uh, spoken about trust deficit. Some of them have spoken about uh, consistency, lack of consistency among the uh, youth. Some of them have spoken about, you know, having the required skill set. But with the programs and schemes like uh, DDU GKY, PMKVY, and also under the initiative of NSRLM, where extensive skilling is going on. But at the same time, the skills, skill training which are being undertaken are not so relevant uh, for Nagas. Most of the youth which, who are getting skilled are being exported out of the state. And the concern for the Naga youth is that they're looking for jobs in the state. And uh, we have had uh, Ms. Shri Pelekeje, the president of Nagaland Contractors and Supplier Union. This uh, sector is one sector in Nagaland which consumes and absorbs more than you know, thousands and thousands of workforce. So now the question to all the unemployed youth is, are we willing to pick up such uh, profession which are not, uh, which we are not accustomed to? Are we willing to go the extra mile to learn the new skills so that we are employed in our state? Or are we still gonna sit down and wait for that one day to come that, uh, one day you know where the uh, job to our liking will come sir so, so do you think uh, do you personally think that the schemes the ddugk and the government schemes uh, uh, it has reduced the, the you know unemployment in nagaland see i am not very sure as to the employment rate after the skill uh, training is done so as far as skill trainings are concerned uh, our one of our member from business association uh, dr yan muri the ceo of uh, pinnacle skills pinnacle skills since inception just one firm has skilled more than 12000 naga youth so that means the number of unemployed youth should have reduced by now if one enterprise if one skill development center can skill that many over the past one decade but unfortunately maybe the rate of 
employability or the rate of you know employment among the skilled uh, workers skilled uh, trained uh, youth i think the uh, proportion is low maybe the youth are not willing to pick up jobs in which they are skilled or trained so sir um, do you think in the future this kind of trade fairs will be more organized yes definitely uh, this is the second edition under the uh, banner of uh, business association of nagas the first one we've had uh, under the brand name nitex nagaland international trade expo and this is the second edition niie and we do intend to have this event on a yearly basis